In today's video, we'll be doing a top 10 on all of the safeties inside of the game, including free safeties and strong safeties. Let's get right into that number 10. Before we get to the video, let me go over two of our honorable mentions. I know a lot of people might question this one, but let me just show you. My first honorable mention, it is going to be Troy Palomalu, and this is one where it's like a golden ticket not being a top 10 safety in the game. Sounds ridiculous, but as you guys know, he is 5'10", and in a game like this, height really does matter. And also, I normally would put him even on here because of his ability buckets so he can get everything for cheap. For safeties, it doesn't matter as much, but whoever made this card gave him five hybrid ability buckets. Yes, he didn't give him a zone one, so he can't get the cheap zone abilities. He didn't give him any of the, I think there's a, the hybrid, there's the, the in the box one. I can't remember what it's called. I, I have no clue. The run stopper or the run support one. He didn't get any of those. It was five hybrids. This card is just definitely a disappointment. I know he's crazy in the box, but I feel like he's a gadget player. And if you're not using him correctly, he's going to be one of the worst safeties in the game. My second and final honorable mention is going to be CJ Gardner Johnson. CJ Gardner Johnson, I think is our number 11. He is amazing. He definitely is a very, very, good card it just really does suck that he is like i get like i said again short he is short and he doesn't like like i said safety abilities don't matter too much there is one guy on this list who is a pretty much a similar height as these guys but you'll see why later i'll show you guys in a second here but cj gardner johnson just like i said very good card amazing card actually just I, you need height no matter what that's what the game is centered around height and speed number 10 we do have ed reed and like i said i know he is smaller but like unlike the other guys he actually brings a lot of value to the field so he has built-in abilities of the, the like i said troy palomalu that card got completely screwed up the guy has five hybrids on him which completely kills the card and he's 510 Ed Reed, although he is short, he gets film study built in, which I have noticed to be actually a very annoying to play against. Yes, it, you could see their audibles in it. You can see their hot routes in it. It is literally, I thought it was way worse than that, but no, it's actually very, very good. He also has acrobat built in, which is one of the best abilities in the game. Like I said, I know he's short. He's not as good. I mean, he's very good statistically, but he's not like a 99 everywhere like the golden tickets are. He's still a very good card. He's going to be 99 speed for you. He's going to have really, really good stats down here as well with 97 blocks. 98 power i would take him over cj gardner and, and troy palmalu every single day just because of those two abilities built in but number nine we do have divine diablo and you'll notice i'm on the website his card for whatever reason even the last time i did this video is not on the auction house i don't know if the easter cards are just somehow rare now or what but yeah he's never on the auction house he's 96 speed which means when you power him up he'll get that 99 for you really good man and really good zone i mean obviously it's not like the 95 plus but once it's above 90 that's all that really matters in the most part his change direction will also be above a 90 i'll like not crazy right not crazy but i do love this card because he is six foot three as you guys know six foot three is a big height that is huge that is a huge player out there he's very good in the box as well as you guys know he plays a linebacker i believe in real life or he was a linebacker moved to safety in real life i don't know it's one of the two but he has 91 block shed 97 power very very good card all around very very good card Number eight, we do have Julio Jones free safety. And Julio Jones, although he only gets 98 speed, he is six foot three and he comes with a really good ability set built in. I love, love, love that deep out elite when you're running cover two. If you're a big cover two guy, that is huge. Or even if you want to put him at corner, I know this is like a safety video, but it still shows the versatility of this card. You can put him at corner and he can play a deep third. That's more for deep thirds or outside cover twos, that ability right there. And obviously the acrobat built in. He has really good man zone, very good in the box stats you'll see down here as well at 95 block shed 94 power and 90 tackling with an 84 finesse move out of nowhere as well julio jones all around very very good card like i said the only really negative he has is 98 speed but i feel like most of the time 98 speed doesn't feel like the biggest difference in the world you only see it in the most minuscule times like i've barely ever noticed it when i use isaiah simmons Number seven, it's crazy to think that we still have a 96 overall this high in this list. This card is absolutely amazing. Like I said, he's only going to be 98 speed. So as you guys know, he doesn't have a power up, but he does have a plus one on his card. So you just got to put, I think it's like 12K training. It's, it's in that range of like 10 to 15K training. He'll get a plus one. And then you have your strat cards getting up to 98 speed. He is six foot four to 38. So he is a big safety. I, I noticed this card to always play very well. I think it has to do with the heavy weight. He's one of the heaviest cards on this list when it comes to all of the safeties and like i said six foot four we saw diablo diablo is a big guy simmons is even bigger 96 man as well 95 zone 96 hit power very good card all around the play rack i really look at simmons as more of a user honestly he's definitely becoming like more of a budget user in a way i don't know how cheap he is technically this is the ltd so i don't really uh count i know he has a redux and everything but simmons all around 
amazing card and then when you take a look down here he doesn't have like the craziest block shed you would think but like i said i noticed this card to play much better than a lot of the cards i use this year probably because of the weight but obviously like i said you you could say everybody in the comments even knows this card's amazing he plays amazing he's always going to be very good in madden as long as he keeps getting these safety cards number six we have grant delpit another guy who is for some reason not on the auction house i have no clue what's going on maybe it's because i'm recording this pretty early in the morning but he will have 99 speed for you powered up very very good card he's gonna have really good excel 97 excel his change direction in 92 as well his man and zone are very good the man obviously not as high i don't think man is the biggest factor in the world unless you are a strict man guy i really look for zone most of the time especially on next gen i really have only ran into like maybe four or five like amazing man coverage players all year honestly but when you look at this card 91 tackling 97 hit power and a 92 block shed so he's amazing in the box he has really good zone and then he is six foot three as well i mean he's a very very good card an absolute amazing card here number five we still have jimmy graham this card has been one of the best cards all year i am actually contemplating today on stream to me moving over to 25 packers because a card later on this list as well he also gets packers as well so he'll have 98 speed on a theme team this is the slowest guy on the list by the way he is 97 speed but the reason why he's so low being six foot seven is because he is only 97 speed he is a very good card nonetheless i do think he's one of the best users in the game still 94 man 97 zone so if you're not using him he still should play pretty well for you 96 hit power as well which is amazing and then he comes with two of the best abilities built in he comes with pick artist and also acrobat jimmy graham's an all-around amazing card i'm pretty sure he's amazing in the box as well yeah 96 hit power 91 tackling and 88 block shed it doesn't get much better than having six foot seven but like i said i know he gets green bay there's another guy in this list that i was tempted to move over to green bay for at least 25 of the theme team you'll see later but jimmy graham amazing definitely top five at number four we have sean taylor i was about to say that was like i waited like 20 seconds for that to pop up there it is there's card is sean taylor it's crazy to think that this card is this low on this list and that doesn't say anything because you guys know in madden you need well for most teams you're gonna need at least three safeties in madden you guys know usering safety and then you'll have your at least two up top and cover three sometimes people i like to have three it depends whatever your formation is i have three i know there's some people that have four to five on their field but sean taylor being at number four does not mean he's a horrible card he still has one ap acro built in which is a big deal saving ap is huge he is six foot two which is like i said actually considered i would say average now maybe below average i feel like most of the cards are six foot three and above nowadays at safety but nonetheless very good card 99 speed we all know how sean taylor plays really good hit power zone man coverage and then when he comes to the block shed 94 block shed the biggest deal about this card like i said is that one ap acro which is a huge deal with saving i think saving one ap and being able to use that in another spot can win you a lot of games it can saving ap is a big big deal but our number three this is a card that i basically have almost tied with our guy sean taylor here the big difference between him and sean taylor is that sean taylor's 1.5 million coins more expensive I saw Sean Taylor was sold for 1.8 million yesterday. I don't know if that's a consistent price, but that is insane to me. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I don't really like to put value in here, but that is actually insane to me. But looking at him though, he is taller. He is taller than Sean Taylor. He is 99 speed. He has a much better man. He'll have 99 man for you. He'll have 99 zone if you have your strat cards. 99 hit powers. Player I can pursue are ridiculous as well. His block sheds at 99. His hit powers at 99. His tacklings at 99. This card is literally about as maxed out as he can get for somebody that is six foot three. And he, like I said, he gets every cheap. He doesn't get one AP acro, but he will get all the cheap zone abilities, all those abilities. I don't know. Let me know. Will you, would you rather have the one AP acro for the $1.5 million cost or would you rather have Jimmy Chin, who will be one inch taller and better in like the, I don't even know, like the man category. I don't, it, they're, they're pretty much tied for me. At number two, we have Ted Hendrickson. Obviously, guys, this is not in the game yet, but it has been officially leaked by the guy who got the card. So whoever made him does get their card early and get to showcase it. Ted Hendricks, 98 speed, which is one of the biggest deals. A lot of people are still, it's crazy to think that he is still number two on this list. And a lot of people are disappointed by this card. I still think he's amazing. I think people thought he was going to be by far the number one. But like I said, he's going to have very, very good speed. And I mean, I wouldn't say very good. I think 99 is very, very good at this time of the year. He has very good excel on him. 99 tackle. I know he has block shed. He showed the block shed stats as well. He does have 99 block shed. He'll have 99 power for you. Very good man in zone as well in this card. He is a run support. He is six foot seven. 
He's an all around very, very good card. And also you cannot see it here, but he does have 91 change direction, which isn't the highest in the world. He also, the biggest thing a lot of people are disappointed with is this right here, the 86 agility. I don't know, how do you guys feel about this card? I feel like he's still gonna be one of the best safeties in the game. He's going to be my user. I'm gonna be moving over who I have at number one over to my non-user spot, but Ted Hendricks, yeah, I cannot wait for this card to come out. At number one, we do have Mike Evans. So Mike Evans has been by far by one of my favorite players all year. I know it's a golden ticket and that's easy to say because obviously he should be good, but he is six foot five, 230 pounds. Unlike our guy, Ted Edwards, we just showed you there. He is going to be hitting 99 speed. Although you're losing two inches, you're also, I, I, I don't know what it is. This card has been beyond he has 92 change of direction which has been great for me his agility although it's 89 i know ted hendrix is 86 as well which is a little minuscule member they could always boost ted hendrix i am recording this before he's coming out i do think mike evans the all-around bat i don't know i'm really like these cards are tough would you rather have that plus one speed or the plus two in height and you also are losing a little bit of agility i think i would take mike evans in the long run 99 man as well really good hit power he has 99 block shed down here as well a very good card nonetheless. I mean, it's it's a tough choice. I'm not going to lie. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love doing the top 10s. Make sure to comment down below which safeties you have, which safeties are you ready for, excited for, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.